Hey students, I hope you all are fit and fine. Welcome in this online session of the syllabus 8th standard. And today we are going to take the chapter number 3, Indian Constitution. In the Constitution, as you can see the tag behind me, it displays that Indian Constitution. And I also made you understood, understand in my previous lecture that uh, how, when, why, by which kind, which kind of people this Indian Constitution was somehow designed. And today, these constitution consist of many features which are helping us to follow our, all the aspects of the life and make our life very easy, comfortable, reliable and also very prosperous life towards the nation. Now, any nation, if you talk about the world, any nation, they all need some rules and regulations. I explained to you in my previous chapter that this lessons about the constitution is also meaning not only about the lesson it is also actually explaining you that what kind of theories are there on which a track full country can be running over the track here so we can say this constitution consists of today's topic that is related with the secularism then republic federal states fundamental rights and duties also so furthermore moving i'll explain in this four topics but let's somehow revise the previous topics also in the previous topic generally i made you as i said you to understand that constitution without a country or the country without a constitution will be having a very messed up situation of its own rules and regulations maybe crime could be increased out in that kind of uh, particular state and commission as well uh, we can say that economical financial crisis can be also seen there there will be no any management about the country system systematic rules and regulations so in order to make all the basic amenities and advanced level of the essential things to be working properly in a country including system including theory including any structure of its base is only can be said that related with the constitution and if it is not related with the constitution obviously as i said you it's gonna mess up so today's topic is all about the secularism now what is secularism it's a very simple and easy topic we need to understand secularism with the caste okay let's understand what is secularism india is a secular country as we all know that as we all read also in the textbook and as we all understand the theory of the secularism that in india we need to follow any religion yeah we follow any religion and the interference of the government is not included in that government is unable or we can say that like government is not interfering it is not allowed to interfere in anybody's selection of the religion because if they are selecting any religion if they're related with any religion generally secularism will be broken out so we need to understand that Ki any person any people any religion any caste sect or any uh, community they don't need to just how ask to the government to follow any kind of religion so in india we all are free to obtain our religion that is all about the secularism it means that no one is discriminated over the right religion aspect their own creed and many more things so dear students this lecture will be around like 20 25 minutes and uh, it may be going to 30 minutes also because it will take your all the basic examples related to this ss theory so as we all are the part of india as we all are the part of indian civilization we need to understand that to choose the religion and to make your religion enjoyable or you can say celebratable it is all depending upon you you don't need any kind of permission by the government as well i will also tell you some details about the religion aspect here my dear student that you need to focus everybody just focus here that in the religion aspect we need to understand that nobody is also allowed to make or change anyone's religion with the other means without any kind of his or her own permission no one is allowed to change his religion uh, on the force of other people or if anybody is by forcefully making you to change the religion then you are also somehow can be file a complaint against that person because he is trying to make you change your religion and you are opposite of that means you are opposing that kind of theories so we can say that religion cannot be changed without the permission of the individual you if you are thinking to change a religion that can be your matter and you can do it by some kinds of fundamental rights duties for 
following and principles but if anyone is coming there to make you change your religion you can file a complaint against that kind of person also so that was about the secularism and that is how no one is discriminated on the basis of religion on the basis of their language on the basis of any kind of other mythological belief let's move to the next one now what is republic caste religion gender class now what is republic we need to understand that republication as we have understood that in my previous lecture that 26th of the uh, january as we know that uh, 1950 it was started as the uh, our constitutional day constitutional day means we all celebrate our republication now when we are selecting our republication we also knows that okay, republication means when anybody any individual if you talk about say as a written anyone can follow their caste religion gender and class that is a republic state of nation or we can say it is totally republication about the uh, india so moving further we can say that okay, republic means the government that actually obtains the powers from the people okay directly it may be or indirectly also so somehow we can say that government can be elected by the people as well people can also make themselves to be a part of government by the elections that i will teach you in some other chapter so today we are only focusing about the theories related to constitutional development as well the constitution so if you go more further we have adopted a democratic system now what is democratic system democratic system is a system where we are choosing our leader for the five years and again there are general assemblies votes and elections are there in which candidates are making themselves to stand and to start to being a uh, to, to ask for a vote and then if they are winning by the higher amount of the vote or the larger number of the vote they will be also helping this india and serving the india as per their zone wise political leader post so we can say that in which it means that this system it means that the powers are not limited to the hands of few privileged people only no in the in the meaning of you can say republic or republication we can say that the power is not limited to the only one person or the group of a people rather it is also accessible we can say that from that it is also accessible to all the citizens inspecting of the you can say inspecting every basic theories and it is out of means we can say it is actually irrespective if you talk about okay, all the citizens irrespective of their caste class gender anything means you can say that to become a leader to become a, a powerful person or to become a politician or to become any uh, help uh, you can say social helper related to your nation you don't need to discriminate anyone or nobody can discriminate you on the basis of caste class gender color height weight body any kind of thing so that is also known as the republication we all are a republic so this is also having some kinds of chart over the page number 16 that you can see in your textbook the chart follows about the central government okay you'll get some arrow downside like president then on the left hand side you can say that there is a legislature right hand side you can say judiciary is there so that chart is given there my dear student you please study that chart downside that chart if i talk about the same systematic development downside of the chart the state government chart is also given there so central government chart is above and downside is the state government chart that also you can focus i'll give an example of the state government chart in the state government chart the first is the governor okay then on the left hand side comes the legislature and the right hand side is coming to the judiciary high court that you basically know here so these all are the theories which we need to understand my dear students here in this lecture and the constitution you need to follow also okay let's move further now if we talk about the functions of the constitution okay if the federal state and before that we need to understand the function of the government how the government is making the function let's understand see basically the function of the government starts from the legislature okay just for example legislature to the executive and judiciary are the organs of the government and they are very well functioning internally to make india very you can say standing with the other nations same apart legislature makes laws means if you if you just take a general assembly or the legislature's post so legislature are making the laws legislature is abide to make the laws laws are made for the people protection as well people need to follow the laws also so here we can say legislature is making the laws executive with the help of civilian or we can say with the help of civil service officers implement the laws over the judiciary or implement the laws and the judiciary system which make people follow the laws 
now when the people are following the laws if it is not working properly means if anyone is not following the laws properly basically there will be you find some kinds of extra additional justice which is provided according to the law and it is also provided some kinds of punishment in that so we need to follow the laws now there is a general system about the laws okay function of the laws now what is federal state federal state okay you just need to understand that india is a federal state like india consists of lots of states and union territories to here so there is distribution of subjection remember carefully there is a distribution of the subjection on which we can say central state government is working okay central go state government is also having some kinds of subjections over that it is working and we can say that it can also frame the laws central government can make some new laws uh, last in before i think uh, we can say 6 or 7 month there was a law uh that was odd and even it was also made by the central government right now that laws are implemented in some of the metropolitan cities like delhi and mumbai after some time it can be implemented in the other states also so we can say central government is trying to implement the laws and that is also very very working out so we can say that there are three such union list okay how many union lists are there there are basic three such union list state list is there and we can say that like a, a current list is the concurrent list is there and union list is there so we can say these all the list are working very properly to maintain any state because without this kinds of list of the uh, we can say either it's a concurrent list of the state union list of the state central list of the state it is not going to help to make every people amendment towards the laws so furthermore we can say laws framed by the central government laws framed by the central government as are actually applicable to entire nation if the laws including the federal state or including the system of federal state is made everybody of the india every person of the india needs to follow that kind of laws rules and regulations why because because it is made by the central government and hence you have to follow that kind of laws also now my dear students if you are following that kind of laws it's a it's a very general and basic topic that then you are a citizen of india and you are uh, we can say you are a proper citizen of india means you are an honest citizen of india and also you are a citizen who is working for the nation so that was the basic federal state now let's talk about the fundamental rights and regulations now what are fundamental rights and regulations we all know that in the fundamental rights and regulations first of all we need to understand that we are the people of india as well we are the people who are abide to follow rules and regulation you know in our textbook in our textbook we are having a pledge now that pledge is somehow taken very deep with our soul internally whenever we are repeating that pledge in the school now what is that pledge the pledge is also somehow like the rules and regulations only it is making us to understand that who are we what should we do okay and what is our responsibilities what is our duties principles and many more things you need to understand so in this kinds of laws rules and regulations we need to understand ki they frame the indian citizen properly means they give the indian citizen to somehow enjoy the rights also and to become somehow we can say responsible citizens to here so that is according to the federal state and the fundamental rights rules and regulations here let's talk about the rights rules and regulations now see my dear student all the citizens of the india has provided constitutional laws of india that is we can say which was adopted on the 26th of the january 1949 and after 49 one year 1950 it was implemented to the people till the date we are following it as the good citizen of india as a responsible citizen of india and as a citizen of a good nation so we can say that the fundamental rights rules regulations are somehow related with the betterment of the people fulfillment of the people and it is also for the goodness of the people so that is how we can say that the citizens are having guarantee citizens are have a guarantee for residing themselves any part in the country okay rules rights and regulations as well we can say that as long as they inhabit it in the country they can be also going with the individual fundamental rights rules regulations and they can cast the votes also so there are most of the citizens similar in this kinds of democratic countries and everybody is getting the same rules regulations and everything equally in the nation 
सो समहाउ वी कैन से दैट कि इफ द फंडामेंटल राइट्स आर गिवन फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट टू द पीपल टू मेक आर लाइफ वेरी बेटर वी नीड टू ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड दैट कि वॉट आर आर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज वी नीड टू रिस्पॉन्सिबल टूवर्ड्स आर नेशन बिफोर पॉलिटिंग गार्बेज वी नीड टू रिस्पॉन्सिबल बिफोर हिटिंग आर व्हीकल्स वी सी रिस्पॉन्सिबल बिफोर कटिंग द ट्रीज वी शुड रिस्पॉन्सिबल बिफोर ब्रेकिंग द रूल्स वी शुड बी रिस्पॉन्सिबल मीन्स इफ द गवर्नमेंट इज गिविंग एस ऑल द फंडामेंटल राइट्स रूल्स रेगुलेशन देन वी नीड टू एन्जॉय इट ऑल्सो बट विथ केयर मीन्स वी शुड टेक सम ऑफ द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज टू हियर सो माई डे स्टूडेंट दिस लेक्चर इज राइट नाउ गोइंग टू द फंडामेंटल राइट्स रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन विच इज डिपेंडिंग ऑन द इंडियन सिटीजन आई एम इंडियन सिटीजन यूर ऑल्सो द इंडियन सिटीजन now what are its salient features means what in the section it is divided out so the individual fundamental right is basically you can say divided out into four sections four to five individual rights okay what are they i'll read from the first topic or from the first number the first number says that equality before any law if you are asking any kind of justice you should get justice equal equal means under the jurisdiction the law should be done according to the fundamental rights rules and regulation means it should be done without any kind of pressure without any kind of fear without any kind of uh, partialities and all means everything should be equal so that is also equality of the laws freedom of religion as i have said you here in this two lecture we can say that in this two topic freedom of religion you are free to select your religion you can change your religion also but if you wish then only by the permission of your parents nobody is going to interfere in that and if anyone is trying to change your religion discriminate you on the religion language food lifestyle then you are eligible to file a complaint against that kind of person okay there is a second one. the third one is freedom of association okay and peaceful assembly you can live your life peacefully or we can say you can enjoy your freedom in any part of the nation that is india and the fourth one is freedom of speech and expression you speak if you find something wrong go and speak there is you are having your freedom to speak and that is also known as the freedom of speech and expression if you find something wrong you can express your feeling towards that nobody is gonna somehow make you trouble or break your any like rules and regulations also here so that is the general thing which we are actually trying to understand in this lecture by the student and also i'm trying to make you understand that what is your rules what is your regulations what are your rights and what are your responsibilities here as you have entered in 8th standard now you need to know what is your right and what is your responsibility also so if you go more further there is one more thing right for the constitutional remedies freedom and also protection against the civil religions also or we can say civil rights here as per the human being as per the citizen of india you are getting some extra benefits also as well as per age and you are also needing to protect your right rules and regulations if you are violated if anybody is making you uh, to break down any rule or to take take your rights then you can apply the filing ca case into the constitutional remedies uh, means i can say that ki you can go and knock the court of the door because if anybody is making you to do the work which is not according to your wish or it is out of actually except it is actually arresting your freedom so in this case we can say that you are abide you are allowed to go and file a complaint against that kind of person also therefore rights for the constitutional remedies for the protection of civil rights are also there you are protected in the guidance of civil rights and you can go and ask the help also from the nearest department of the police station so this lecture is all about here i hope you also made i hope i made you to understand what are your rights rules regulations and how you can enjoy you are powerful person but only when you know the rules and regulations or otherwise you can say any time anywhere anybody can cheat you so better to be cheated you should become a clever person by knowing this rights rules and regulation so my dear student here the lesson is getting end we'll start the new chapter in the other lecture till then you can keep revising also get some analysis related theory about the constitution and we'll meet again in the next lecture with the new fresh lesson of 8th standard ss take care jai hind